What direction is gas price going to go in? I think there's going to be a lot of gas price conversions. We had a situation back in the States a couple of years ago where the oil price fell below $2. Uh, now it's just below $3, having gone above $3 uh, plus MMBTU. So what I see is there's going to be a lot of convergence. A lot of these US players want to compete with the likes of Qatar and Australia and send their gas overseas to, to us in England, to, to elsewhere around Europe. And what we'll see would be a lot of price convergence. So Asia would lead the way in, in gas markets. It's, it's, the, it's the most lucrative market for liquefied natural gas. So you will see an Asian premium followed by the European premium, followed by the cheapest gas that you can get would be in North America. And that, that will color the market's vision. But we had a situation not, not very far uh, back into the, into the past where the, uh, the price in Japan was something around $10 or $12, where the price in the US was less than $2. So they'll be coming together. And I think Henry Hub, which is the US benchmark, would probably become much more of a global benchmark than it is now. And the Henry Hub is lurking either side of $3, I expect it to do about 350, but no higher. What are the reasons that gas prices rise and fall? The very same situation that we see with oil. It's a supply and demand driven world. The reason oil prices fell to uh, below $2 uh, in the US uh, three, four years ago was because there was just so much gas to, uh, in the US. The, the, it was not just a shale oil bonanza, it's primarily, in fact, first and foremost, a shale gas bonanza. And there was just so much gas state site that the US uh, petrochemicals manufacturers were buying it at, at a pittance. There was a surplus of gas, which probably explains why so much of gas, US gas is, is now being exported. With, uh, with natural gas, the only problem is, unlike oil, there isn't a, a, a global rate setting benchmark. With, with oil, we have Brent and West Texas Intermediate. With with gas, Henry Hub is not a global benchmark, it's primarily a US benchmark. And its pricing would not necessarily be the price that you would see in Japan or in Taiwan, or even, uh, even here at, uh, in UK at the NBP. So I would say it's a supply and demand world, but the only thing is that we're moving towards long-term contracts, there's absence of a global benchmark. Where do you see gas prices going in the next 10 years? Uh, well, nobody has a crystal ball, but I'd see it's, it'd be very difficult, very hard for the Henry Hub to escape its current range because the Americans are ramping up production, the Australians are ramping up production, the Qataris are ramping up production, and let's not forget the Russians. So you put all of them together, the importers, most of whom are out in Asia, are spoiled for choice. So we'll see a lot of these short-term contracts, a lot of fluctuating prices, but the prices still fluctuate in this, this 3 to $5 range.